What has happened here? Poor Snow White. <laughs> she was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs. And made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories. About falling in love with the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? A wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poison apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do would wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the vessel. I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not afeard of going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged.
Is something wrong? This castle, it's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait, you mean you know Snow White? Oh yes, we met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes, I'm afraid so. The Wicked Queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help.
Something's not right. Princess!
That's so sweet. It's just like a miracle. Why won't you wake up? You're awake, Ventus. Oh, it's a miracle. Terra, Master Ericus, Ventus is awake. Every waking is a new journey. Maybe Vent left because it was his time. What's that? I think I'd better go take a look inside. Tara would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? 
That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Van, don't be fooled! Aqua! Terra would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah, the truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. <sighs> the Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Sorry, Aqua, but I can't go with you. What? It's just, I have to find him before it's too late. Then! I see you too wield a Keyblade. How do you know about the Keyblade? A source of power, a key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Terra... He really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me as well? Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... It seems you need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. What? Ah! <sighs> Who are you? My name is Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes, Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you! Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers, which you alone will have to face. I'm going with you. There's something I need to know, and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. Now come along. We must hurry to Aurora. <laughs> 